Welcome back to Pagan Valley, everyone. Tonight will be a much shorter presentation, but I wanted to talk about a sort of a hidden gem in YouTube horror that not a lot of channels have discussed, a series called The Blue Channel. Something that my permanently screwed up algorithm put into my feed while I was uploading the second Monument Mythos video. The thumbnail was creepy and had that 90s VHS vibe, so I casually clicked on it. To describe The Blue Channel without showing any of it to you yet, I would say it's like a late night Adult Swim bumper in the vein of Wham City or Alan Resnick. Which if you know this house has people in it or unedited footage of a bear, then you know what I'm talking about. When these bumpers begin, it feels like something has taken over your computer, or if it was on your TV, like something you wouldn't want to see in the middle of the night. The Blue Channel currently comprises three videos on a channel named Gooseworks. The channel hosts some unique animation projects, but nothing that matches these three videos. While I know these three videos are created by the channel, I like to imagine that they're sort of interruptions to the usual playful animations the channel is popular for. Like a foreign entity has kind of taken over. Another reason I imagine these videos being this way is the upload date of each. The one I had clicked on was uploaded this February in the height of the analog horror craze. However, the oldest of the three was posted way back in October of 2018. Of course, this is all unimportant, but I think it helps set up what these videos are. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to keep them disconnected from the rest of the main channel. However, I still invite you all to see Gooseworks' channel for yourself. With that, let's take a look at the first of these three videos called The Blue Channel. This video begins like the beginning of a VHS tape before a blank blue screen comes up with a watermark that only says blue. For the entirety of the video, some distortion that shows the tape's age comes up, but the screen never changes. In the background, a piano plays a lighthearted song. Take a listen. Still not feeling scared? Take a closer look when the old tape comes to an end. Miss it? Well don't worry because I captured it for you. What the hell even is this monster? Obviously we saw its shadow in the thumbnail, but in the flesh it's disgusting. I don't know, with this image and the type of tape, I'm getting Gemini vibes from this so far. So maybe this is a classic alien contact series where this alien life form has tampered with this old tape like we've seen in other series. However, this thing is so uncanny to look at and it looks more like something you would see in a fever dream. Let's move on. Our next video is titled Deep Blue and is the longest of the three videos. It begins the same as our last one with the familiar blank blue screen and watermark, but the music is different. Right. 
Another two minutes into our video, we get some distortion that clues us into a time frame. At four minutes, our watermark changes to a threat saying, you don't belong here. A message that starts to pop up every few seconds during the tape. When we start reaching the last two minutes of the tape, our distorted music begins to normalize into this symphony-like score that makes it seem like something is about to happen. At this point, you also may have noticed that our TV playing this tape is also moving back away from us, as if the video frame is getting smaller, before the video cuts to this. Our monster has come back and this time is telling us that we have to let them in. So there must be more of these creatures these tapes have captured, but what do they want? We still don't know. Let's go back to that distortion earlier in the video. Our tape has a recording of January 15th, 2021 at 5 a.m. in the morning, which begs the question, who is recording on VHS tapes in 2021? It doesn't make any sense. But what does make sense is to think of these videos as broadcast interruptions, like a late night infomercial that happens to be documenting monsters that want to attack us. This makes more sense in our next video called Thalassin. And by the thumbnail, it looks like our late night broadcast is going to offer more than just a spooky soundtrack in this video. Let's take a look. or a loved one are suffering from any of the following symptoms lack of feeling emotional outbursts fog of the mind or memory loss this may be a sign of onset AED or advanced emotional deterioration today seven in ten people over the age of 21 report experiencing emotional degradation severe enough to hinder everyday tasks such as workplace performance social interaction and general well-being Emotional stability is required for a functional and healthy mind. Correcting AED used to require rigorous testing and invasive procedures, costing time, effort, and money. Today, the solution is thalassin. Using our modern understanding of brain mapping, thalassin is able to reproduce the emotions necessary for any occasion. Not only does thalassin restore lost emotion, but patients have reported emotions at a higher and more consistent quality than ones produced non-chemically. Included in every pack of thalassin are these common emotions. Happiness, sadness, anger, fear, and relief. Also, look out for over-the-counter options such as jealousy, hope, frustration, and pride.
Tired of only experiencing natural emotions? Or maybe interested in expanding your emotional palate? Cutting-edge brain mapping technology has not only allowed us to refine existing emotions, but has also allowed for the creation of new emotions and emotional experiences. With Thalassin Plus, experience emotions beyond previous natural capabilities. These new emotions include degrance, humber, mage, dorselessness, andric, ver verinic, haunish. Trantiveness, Toluge, Rick. To experience the power of Thalassin, call the number on your screen now before supplies run out. What the hell was even all that? Let's try and decipher all these answers we got from this last video and try to put together a theory of what the blue channel is. Altogether, the blue channel isn't ran by aliens like I originally thought. It's a late night broadcast station that runs around 5 in the morning for 2 to 8 minutes. The first two videos were meant to be test runs for the broadcast. At the end of the first video, we caught a glimpse of a monster, but now we know it wasn't just a monster. It was a human, and I'm betting it's an employee that's running the Blue Channel broadcast. But why does he look like that Jedi Master from Star Wars? Well, because he's taken Thalassin and experiencing unnatural emotions. By the looks of him and the examples in the advertisement, I think he's experiencing a form of kind in Loric. But more importantly, the Blue Channel is wanting to sell us on this product that can turn us into these physically altered humans. But what is with all the blue in the series? Why that color? Well, it's a... Wait a minute, what the hell is going on? They told me to. The face was losing money. I wanted the insurance claim. What? What? You know why he did it. They didn't ask for him to do it. Can you blame me for wanting to help my own brother? I knew before he ever did. You two always come in every Friday to watch the show. And you're writing in our gift affairs to Jonathan. He's less understandable than I was. I'm sorry. There's a space reserved for me in hell, I know that. But you, do you really want to do this? You are a sweet boy. Both of you are. I wish we could go back to those movie nights. I wish I had never said anything to Richard. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Richard. Wendell. Clyde. Jonathan. Apologies for whatever that was. Let's just wrap up this video real quick. The Blue Channel is a fun project created by a talented animator. So you should go take a look at their channel for yourself. If there are any updates in this series, I will cover it with you all. For now, this has been Pagan Valley, and I'm going to go look around the theater for whatever is causing these issues. Again, apologies for the technical difficulties. You all, have a great evening. I went down in the valley to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown to Sorry.
Come on, sisters.